Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I help me help you go further in tech. In today's video, I want to talk to you about um, just some of the activities that I did in the previous video. I had a prep session. I want to show you basically what I'm preparing for, what tools I use to help me stay on task, and what I'm excited about and what I'm a little scared about in terms of the study plan that I have set. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with the end in mind. All the efforts I'm doing to prepare are basically to lead me here. So this is the certified technical architect. This is the program that I'm going for in ServiceNow. And the reason I'm going for it is because the idea of architecture is really cool to me. You have to know so much about everything. And then you have to be able to take what you know and then put it to work in terms of creating blueprints. And these are like success blueprints. You have this thing that you know you need to get done. And then you have this technical solution that you want to use in order to leverage and then get things done more effectively. And so as an architect, not only are you thinking about that maybe specific solution, but you're thinking about how does it work in conjunction with other products that we have that we're using in our environment. In order to qualify for this role, you need to have your system administrative certification. You need to have your CAD. So it's just one of these each. And then you have to basically acquire two implementation specialist certifications in any of the disciplines that are listed. So we have ITSM, you have CSM, HR, SecOps, ITOM, et cetera. You have all these different areas. To prepare for the certifications, I'm using Now Learning. So Now Learning is ServiceNow's learning platform. And they have this really cool feature called career journeys. I wish this was here when I first got started, but it's here now. So I'm going to make use of it, but basically career journeys highlight certain roles within the service now environment. And this is for anybody who's working with the product and working with the organization to bring on new products and innovate. And so in order to do that, you need these different roles. And because I'm preparing for the CTA. I'm really focused on the system administrator, the app developer and implementer. When I go back to Trello board, essentially that's what this stuff represents. So these red represents this admin work, green, if I can get to it, or I have green here represents you know, CAD work. And again, that's for the application developer. And then this represents the implementation specialist. So these are all different cards that represent a task in the career journey modules, as well as some of the learning modules for the actual learning path. So a lot of these I've already gone through and I know I have vouchers for a lot of these exams I need to take. Now it's just a matter of studying for it and making sure that I'm qualified to take the test and pass it on the first try. So far, I'm one of one with passing tests in service now, but I don't want to leave it a chance. I want to really study and commit myself. Some of these cards are like just a one and done. So I have to register for and attend a service now event. Now, I've actually been to an event. I went to Knowledge 2023 last year. It was really amazing. I really enjoyed myself and uh, it cost a nice penny, but it was a cool experience. And I just didn't know Vegas did tech conventions like that. So that was really cool. So this is something I would have to do. I can basically work this task. And when I work it, I use an app called Pomelo and Pomelo is like this Pomodoro counter. Pomodoro technique is essentially a technique where you're doing focused work for a set amount of time. And what is cool is that the software, the Pomelo app will capture the work I'm doing because it'll let me choose one of the tasks that I have on this list. It calculates or just counts down the work time that I'm working on something. And then when I click on the task, it leaves a log for me. So in this case, I had checklist items, so I completed each one of those, but it tells me like the total time I spent working on something. So for the prep with me session I did uh, in the previous video, essentially that's what it did here. It calculated how much time I worked in different tasks or when I started, when I stopped. And for me, I do two 50 minute sessions. So about two hours a day, I try to commit. And the more I get into it, the more effective and efficient I try to be with my own study sessions or, or work sessions. And what I like about the Pomelo app is that it captures not only the cards, but it can capture like checklists. So. Like this one, for example, for the ITSM implementer, this is one of the certifications that I'm going for that I have a voucher to take the exam. And when I click on this, I have 14 checklist items. Each of these checklist items are just courses in that learning path for me to go through. 
And then down below, I can add comments about something in addition to Pomelo stuff. So this is a really cool way to keep track of things. If, you, if you're interested in learning more about Trello, I do have a video on Trello that I'll link above and Pomelo. But if there's any questions you may have specifically, let me know. So yeah, that's essentially it. I have my plan mostly completed. I have to add a couple more cards, but this is going to take me probably into June. And I'm hoping that as I get momentum, I can cut that time in half or down 60 or 70% and get done even sooner because there are other technologies I want to work with. It's just ServiceNow is such a good starting point for me. And it's helping me make that transition between just the business savvy to that actual technical practitioner uh, within the platform. So we'll see how things go. I appreciate you for following me on my journey. And I hope that this is a good model for you or that you could take what you can from the lessons, experiences I'm having along my way and do what feels good and do what helps you get to where you want to go to. So um, again, thank you for your support. As always, don't be hard on yourself. Just work hard on yourself. And I promise you, you'll get what you need. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier. And I'll see you. Peace. Dear me. Dear me. Three to six months. Watch how I make you proud.